Hi guys and welcome back to Battle of the Fashionistas. So, recapping last month's episode where Franchella Ulysses and I stopped by North Scottsdale's High Society Resale Boutique and had the best time shopping their extensive collection of discounted designer and high-end items. And spoiler alert, we definitely came home with some very cute items. Today, we are here at Ely Vintage in Phoenix, Arizona, which has the best selection of Y2K and cutesy 90s pieces so that you can live out your Lizzie McGuire and Paris Hilton dreams. To make it long story short, Ely Vintage Vintage is basically the embodiment of small but mighty. With every push of a hanger, you're literally falling in love all over again. And the inspo that you get in this place literally makes you never want to leave and always keeps you coming back. And on top of all of that, the store owner always shows her love to her shoppers by doing different events like $5 sales and giveaways. And if that doesn't sell you on the place, I don't know what will. The only problem is we don't have a guest for today's episode, but I do see one lonely shopper over here. So let's see what's up with her. Hi. Hi. Are you guys filming Battle of the Fashionistas? We are indeed. Can I be in the episode like right now? Right now, right now? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so today's guest is Miss Maddie Crouch. Hi, I'm Maddie. I'm a Phoenix-based photographer. I primarily focus on film and video. I also work in vintage and I sell vintage clothing and furniture and I'm really excited to be here today. I actually wanted to think about shooting at Modern Manor. I was gonna tell you we probably yeah. can because you went to Antique Sugar and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, we should just, we can definitely do an episode. Of. Let's get into it! Okay, so just to go over the rules again, we are going to be styling one outfit from scratch. We can't use anything that's on our body right now. No shoes, no clothes, no, no nothing, shoes. no jewelry. Okay. It's all gotta go. And then we do only have 15 minutes to style our outfits. Okay, so our 15 minutes start now. So these are really cute and they, I think that they'll actually fit me, which this that doesn't me. happen often. Is your part about the Hamptons gonna be in it? Yeah. Okay, well, I was at my job and this grandma who was wearing a bunch of Van Cleef stuff was like, I work in a vintage store. And she was like, this store reminds me of the, this store in the Hamptons. Do you know about it? And I was like, no. Like, do you think I would know about it? But she did, so I'm also like, that's nice that she thought I would know about the store in the Hamptons, but I don't. She thought you had money. She thought I had money. Like she does. <laughs> no. This is hard, how do you focus? Your stress is literally <laughs> me from last episode because last episode I couldn't find anything and every two seconds, Franchella was like, oh my gosh, this is I so cute, this. let me talk about this. Every two minutes, and I was like, okay, perfect. It's like that, <laughs> that like invisible competition that you have with a friend when you're thrifting and they find something, you're like, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, I like, found that. I'm glad your dreams came true today. I'm stressed. I'm really stressed. Okay, these shoes might be a vibe. I don't know though, but we're gonna try them on. Try them on. I have two options for outfits if one doesn't work, and then if the other one doesn't work, then I guess I lose. <laughs> Be perfect, but they're so little. Gotta try them on. Jeans are hard because jeans are hard, and every like generation, not generation, like years of jeans are shaped differently. Like my favorite are jeans from the 80s and honestly 60s and 70s because they were like made like this. And then in the 90s and 2000s, everybody wanted to be stick thin. So then all those jeans are just like straight. That's what I've come to find and everyone's kind of agreed with, but yeah. That's why jeans from the 70s are my favorite. So you were holding all of this back from us? You weren't saying any words? <laughs> <laughs> While I was looking? Wait, this is a different top. You oh, want this top? These are both cute. No, I've been staring at this top the Me entire too. time. Like, so cute. But I probably won't get it. You have now. all black and white polka dots. Which that is crazy so because funny. I normally am like looking for the pink stuff. 
or to match your hair. Colorful stuff. I just found these red Ralph Lauren shorts and I feel like this is low-key like Rich Girl Hamptons. But I also really like it with the black shorts. So I'm definitely going to try on both and see. I guess it just depends on my shoes. See how the accessories can uh, pull this bit together. Okay, so I went with more of a Western style outfit. I was going to do like the Carrie Bradshaw polka dot skirt, polka dot top and shoes, but I didn't because this is just more of my style and I was drawn to it a little bit more and I'm more comfortable in an outfit like this. Even though some days I do like my Carrie Bradshaw dresses and skirts and stuff, but this is what I went with. And this scarf is also from the shop. And this is like my favorite way to accessorize with a scarf. So yeah. Okay guys, this is what I went for. Honestly, I feel very like Summer in the Hamptons rich girl, which is so fun for me um, because obviously I am not that, but hopefully soon. <laughs> she has the cutest little glasses and I feel like these are so on trend right now. Like the 90s supermodel girl and they're always wearing their skinny little glasses, which I think is so cute. And then this skirt, I kind of picked up at the last minute because I was like, oh my gosh, this is so tiny. I wonder if this will fit me. Obviously, it's very cute. And it actually has shorts in it, which makes me feel a lot more comfortable because usually I would never wear a skirt that's this short just because that's a whole lot of legs showing and I like to cover up a little bit more. It works for the fit right now, so we just went with her and my other two shorts did not fit at all. But long story short, I do really like this outfit and I feel a little bit expensive. I think it's so cute, so. But thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely comment down below who was your favorite outfit because in Battle of the Fashionistas, there is only one winner. So let us know who that winner is and I'll see you guys next week.